This is Ray Mosholder with Morning News in Brief for May 17, 2023. At least 4.5 million people. 4.5 million people have died as a consequence of wars that have raged across North Africa and the Middle East since the 9-11 attacks in 2001. President Biden has shortened his planned trip to Asia and will not be visiting Papua New Guinea or Australia. Instead, he said he'll concentrate on the debt ceiling. The head of the artificial intelligence company that makes chat GBT warned Congress that unless there is government intervention, AI could go, this is a quote, terribly wrong. Wells Fargo has agreed to pay $1 billion, billion with a B, to settle a lawsuit accusing it of defrauding shareholders. Wells Fargo is still recovering from a series of scandals. The CDC is warning of a resurgence of monkeypox this summer that could be larger than last year's caseload, now being called Mpox, is a virus that causes a rash and sometimes flu-like symptoms. Last August, cases peaked at 460. 460 every day and killed 42 people. Most cases in the United States have been among gay or bisexual men, men who have sex with men, and transgender people. Researchers using the James Webb Space Telescope have spotted water around a rare comet. It's located in the main asteroid belt between Jupiter and Mars. Astrologers call this, quote, a long-sought scientific breakthrough. A bill in North Carolina was passed by a Republican Senate and sent to the governor's desk to be signed. The bill restricts abortion if the pregnancy has gone longer than 12 weeks. The governor vetoed the bill, but the Senate overrode his veto and it has been passed into law. Stellantis is telling owners of nearly 220,000 220,000 Jeep Cherokee SUVs worldwide to park them outdoors and away from other vehicles because the power lift gates can catch fire when the engines are off. No recall, just a word of warning. A Minnesota man convicted of killing four passengers in his Mercedes-Benz SUV and then dumping their bodies in a Wisconsin cornfield has been sentenced to one 
hundred three years in prison. An Illinois girl who was allegedly kidnapped in suburban Chicago in 2017 by her non-custodial mother has been found safe in North Carolina after she was recognized as one of the stars of a Netflix series. ExxonMobil on Monday settled a long-running human rights lawsuit with Indonesian villagers who claimed the soldiers that Exxon hired to guard their national gas facility committed both murder and torture. A Wyoming hunter faces up to a year in jail and $10,000 fine if convicted of killing a protected grizzly bear he claims he mistook for a legal to hunt black bear outside Yellowstone National Park. Democrat Donna Deegan has defeated her Republican opponent in Jacksonville, Florida, just months after Republicans dominated the state in the 2002 midterm election. Lawyers for Tesla have asked a federal appeals court to reconsider his ru the ruling that CEO, I'm going to start that again. Lawyers for Tesla have asked a federal appeals court to reconsider his, its ruling that CEO Elon Musk unlawfully threatened employees with the loss of stock options in the 2018 Twitter post during union organizing efforts. Minnesota has finalized the details of a bill to legalize recreational marijuana. San Francisco's district attorney Monday released surveillance video showing the fatal shooting of a suspected shoplifter by an on-duty Walgreens security guard, along with other footage and documents that she said support her decision not to file charges against the guard. Today, voters in Philadelphia are determining who will likely lead the nation's sixth largest city in a crowded field of nine Democrat candidates. Gun violence has greatly increased in Philadelphia. Nikki Haley was paid between $100,000 and $1 million each for speaking 12 times in 22, 2022 and 2023. The payments were made for speeches Haley delivered in Singapore, Australia, and Canada. All presidential candidates, like Nikki, are required by law to file an annual report on their earnings. Governor Ron DeSantis is sending more than 1,100 state law enforcement agents and National Guard members to Texas' southern border 
with Mexico. President Trump has pledged to release the John F. Kennedy files and everything else people in America should know if he's elected president. Meanwhile, the legendary disco group, The Village People, YMCA, have reportedly sent Trump a legal letter after a video emerged of him dancing to one of their hit songs. Meanwhile, a new lawsuit alleges that Rudy Giuliani offered to sell presidential pardons for $2 million each and saying that he would split the profits between himself and former President Donald Trump. This may or may not be true. Representative Marjorie Taylor Greene will introduce articles of impeachment against FBI Director Christopher Wray and the United States Attorney for the District of Columbia, Matthew Graves. She says Wray has turned the FBI into President Biden and Attorney General Merrick Garland's this is a quote, personal police force, and that the FBI has intimidated, harassed, and entrapped United States citizens deemed enemies of the state when they're actually deemed enemies of the Biden regime. Her action follows the release of the Durham report. Gunmen today targeted a convoy of United States Embassy staffers in Southeast Nigeria, killing two of its local workers and two policemen. At the same time, gunmen were attacking villages in troubled north-central Nigeria, killing 29 people and burning down houses. Closing arguments began today at the second trial of that 70s show actor Danny Masterson, who was charged with raping three women at his Los Angeles home between 2001 and 2003. Embattled St. Louis Circuit Attorney Kim Gardner announced that she would resign effective June 1st, but has changed her mind and is leaving office immediately. This will end a turbulent tenure marked by frequent criticism, especially from Missouri's Republican leaders. Massachusetts United States Attorney Rachel Rollins is resigning after ethics charges. Colorado Congresswoman Lauren Boebert is divorcing her husband after 18 years of marriage. In baseball, Shohei Otani became the first starting pitcher since 1964 to reach base five times in a single game. Conservators at the Guggenheim Museum in New York have discovered a small dog hidden beneath the surface of a Pablo Picasso painting. The painting portrays 
a bohemian party taking place in a dimly lit dance hall in Montmartre. The dog sits at the table beside a smirking woman. No one had ever noticed it before. According to police, two people have been arrested in South Carolina for allegedly trying to carry illegal drugs under a fake pregnancy belly. An unexpected visitor spotted sunbathing on the beach in the Israeli city of Tel Aviv, turned heads and caused a media buzz. But it was an American film director and Tel Aviv mainstay, Quentin Tarantino, or any other Hollywood celebrity. It was Eula, an endangered Mediterranean monk seal. And finally, yesterday, service was temporarily halted on a line of Mexico City's subway system after a chicken got loose on the tracks. Personnel and civil defense officers in hard hats chased the elusive bird around the tracks with brooms, gloves, and a trash bag. The chicken escaped several attempts to capture it before one worker finally tossed his coat over the bird. The metro system said service was quickly restored after the incident. <laughs> and this is Ray. By golly, that reminds me of one of my favorite songs. A peanut stood on a railroad track, his heart was all a flutter. Along came a choo-choo train to toot peanut butter. <laughs> Forgive my voice, but do enjoy the song. More news later today. <laughs>